Yo, yo, yo! What's going on, guys? Your boys, Pilot 2K7. Today we're flying Air Force One, and we're actually going to be landing here in California at the military base here and picking up the President of the United States. So, him and his wife, the First Lady, are standing by, and we'll be taking them from California to Washington, D.C. today. So, Right now, guys, we're going to be starting our final approach, and we're going to be landing shortly. The president has already arrived at the Air Force Base. Normally, we have Air Force One already waiting so that he doesn't have a wait, but he actually had a couple meetings and, like, press conference at the base, so that's why um, we didn't have the aircraft already there before he got there so he has some business to take care of so he's done with that and we are now making our final approach here landing gear down flaps down landing checklist is complete and let's go ahead and get the president guys all right final here guys we have touched down now let's go ahead and grab the president here I could already see the convoy over there Alright, just dropped the doors, so now the president can get on board, and we are good to go. So let's go grab the president and get him on board, guys. Alright guys, so let's get aboard Air Force One here. Make sure everything is all ready for the president's departure. If you guys never saw this mod before, another awesome mod by Skyline GTR Freak. See some of our former presidents here. Alright, so this way goes up to the pilot area, and it's going to be the main cabin area that the uh, president is going to be in. So let's go ahead and let the president know the cabin's ready. We have the drinks ready. I believe we have some fruits for him as well. We got some fruits, got some wine. So yeah, let's go ahead and um, get the president on board here. So let's head back down. And let's go grab the president and bring him aboard. Alright, so here you can see we have the motorcade standing by. All the guards are out just watching. The president is inside that first limo, so I'm going to go ahead and get him and get him up. Alright, everything's all clear, guys. Let's go ahead and get the president out of here now. Alright, so we're going to park up the beast right next to Air Force One, and let's go ahead and get the President off. Alright, Mr. President, we are good to go. Ready? Alright, First Lady, right this way. Mr. President, right this way. So as you can see, they are saluting him. Alright, Mr. President, you ready to jump aboard? Okay, let's go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and help the president on board now. I'm going to actually have to kind of hold him because he can't really... Just the way that this plane is made, pets can't walk up by themselves. So right this way, Mr. President. Stand right there. Actually, let's just take him all the way in. So we're going to just escort the president over here. And we'll get him inside the uh, cabin. And we'll go back and get the first lady here. And then I'll let the pilots know we are ready for takeoff. 
And here you go, Mr. President. We'll get you to Washington, D.C. in no time. I'm going to grab the First Lady. I think he should stay there. He should be stuck there because they, they can't navigate this plane. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab the uh, First Lady here. Alright, Mel, ready? Alright, let's go. Go ahead and help her on board. Thank you, guys. Again, if you guys are enjoying this episode, make sure you guys do remember to hit the like button. Alright, so here they go. Alright, guys, here it is. Here you go, here's the first lady, Mr. President. Alright, um, you guys make yourself comfortable. We should be departing in about two minutes, okay? Okay. Alright, so doors are closed, everything's going up. Let's go ahead and get this back here. So these vehicles will be transported via probably a C-17 is going to come load these up and take them to their next location. Um, there are multiple copies of these in real life, so there are like up to like 10 to 20 limos so that the president could travel multiple places. They could always have a limo and motorcade there ahead of time. So this motorcade is probably going to get another assignment. There's already a motorcade standing by in Washington, D.C. waiting for us. So like I said, I'm not sure where this motorcade is going, but probably a C-17 is going to come pick it up and transport it to wherever it is. Alright, so our job as the um, motorcade director is done. Air Force One should be taken off shortly, and let's see how that goes. Hi right, guys, so we are aboard Air Force One. President's on board, and we are ready for takeoff, guys. It's a really big airport. I mean, a really big airplane. All right, so we are ready for takeoff. Ready to depart. It's a really sunny day. Alright, we are clear for a takeoff and we'll be heading to Washington, D.C., guys. Alright, there we go. A quick takeoff checklist here. Flaps are down. Uh, speed brakes are on. Brakes are set to reject takeoff. Alright, before takeoff is complete. Oh, it actually has a little thing here. So our trim is good. Flight controls, we already checked. Alright, we are good for takeoff, guys. Let's go. One and rotate that positive right landing gear up and we are leaving California guys we are gonna leave California we're gonna head east and we're gonna head to Washington DC Good, so let's go ahead and start climbing here. And we are flying to Washington, guys.
Alright guys, so this is going to be a pretty long flight. I'm not going to keep you guys all the way here from Cali to DC. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed up until this point. If you did, make sure you guys hit the like button. Leave a comment down below and subscribe if you are new. Hi guys, so we're making our final approach here. <laughs> that was really low right there. We're making our final approach here to Andrews Air Force Base here in Maryland. And from there we'll be dropping off the President and the First Lady and they will continue their journey to the White House um, via Marine One which will meet us at the airport and take them from Andrews Air Force Base Maryland to Washington DC. So there's the airport right there. We're gonna get ready to turn our final here. Our downwind and then the final. Just continue to go out and we're gonna make two left turns, line up and land here guys. Alright, so approach, everything's looking good. Alright, let's start turning for our downwind here. Tower has already cleared us for our landing here. As Air Force One, we're pretty much cleared to do everything that we need to do. <laughs> no aircraft are around us. All aircraft get has to wait for us, so we're cleared to go. And we're gonna be turning our final here in just a moment, guys. And we're gonna be lined up for our approach. Let's go ahead and drop our landing gear. There we go. Let's line it up here. Alright. Sunny day. The plane is so bright. Alright. Let's fly it right towards the runway here. And here we go, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Me trying to be in this special camera nearly messed us up there. We're still good though. And we are down guys. We are down. Alright, so let's get ready to roll out. We're gonna actually use up the whole runway. Marine 1 is already standing by. And we also actually have a presidential limo standing by as well. Just so that he doesn't have to walk from the plane to the aircraft, to the helicopter. So as you can see, there's actually, there goes the beast. There's only one, since this isn't like an official motor case. So we have one beast, and we have uh, two Suburbans here. That's gonna take him just from here to the Marine Ones. If you look right in front of us, you'll see the Marine Ones actually standing by right there. So there goes the Suburbans and uh, the beast. And right there ahead of us, there goes the, um, there goes the marine ones over there. There's actually three of them. They're going to fly in formation. Always want to make sure that the president is 100% safe, so that's why we put him in one of those three. Bad guys will never know which one he is in, just in case marine one gets attacked. So, there you see that there. I didn't realize the engine was going to be so close to this one Suburban right here. Alright, we have to just let them out right here. Alright, we're going to push back just a bit. Alright, so we're going to actually block off the runway, but like I said, when Air Force One is around, all other traffic stops. So, we're going to go ahead and open up all the doors now. We're just gonna open all the doors. There goes that dropping down. Very, very nice. Alright, alright, so let's go get the president out and we'll make sure the scene is secured first. So as the lead secret service agent, I'm gonna come out first. Alright, so we are now out. Alright, Lumo's good. How you doing man? Everything's good? Alright, so 
Uh, President Trump's going to be off in just a minute. Let me just make sure everything else is okay. So we got the um, limos here. Limos good. Limos drivers here. We got Secret Service on the ground waiting for him to get out. And make sure that the Marine ones are ready. So there's actually three over here, three White Hawks. Only one will contain the President. So as you see, two of them are already running. Ready to go. This third one right here is actually going to be Marine One, so that's the one that we're putting the president into today. Okay, so let's go grab the president, guys. And let's get him off the aircraft. And let's get him into, into the limo, and then we'll get him into Marine One. Alright, so let's go check on the president here. Hey, hello, Mr. President. How you doing? Hello, First Lady. We have arrived safely at Andrews Air Force Base here in Maryland. We will now proceed to Marine One, which is conveniently located right out the windows to your left, as you can see, sir. And, um, yeah, we'll be on about a five-minute journey on Marine One, and we'll have you at the White House in no time. Are you ready, Mr. President? Okay, perfect. Just follow me out this way, okay, guys? Right this way. Now we're going to lead them out of here and get them aboard uh, into the limo and then on to the Marine One. Alright, here we go. Got the guys saluting there. Alright, so let's get them into, uh, into the beast here and then we'll get them over to the other side. Alright, so they're in the limo behind us. We're going to leave Air Force One and drive them right over here to um, Marine One, which is waiting for them. So they're not in my suburban area in the limo, of course. Our limo is armored up, though, so they would have been perfectly safe in here. As you see, we have our three White Hawks here. And we're going to be putting the President into this one right over here. Alrighty, right over here guys. <laughs> I kind of got stuck over there, let's see if we can tell them to get back to me. Right over here guys, you can do it. Alright, perfect. Alright, that's as close as we're going to get. So let's go ahead and get the President on board Marine One. And we'll get um, to the White House here. Alright guys, so we are all loaded aboard Marine One. I'm going to tell all of the other units to go ahead and take off. Well, I'll take off first actually. So let's go ahead and take off here. And Marine One is up. I'm going to tell the other units to go ahead and get up with me as well. Oh, shit. When that menu is up, I can't fly, apparently. <laughs> Alright, so number three is up. And let's get number two up now. Alright, we're all up. And let's go ahead and make our departure. We're going to fly directly over Air Force One here. There we go, guys. So we're going to head to Washington, D.C. now. Got President on board. All other units are flying behind us. Alright, direct to Washington, D.C., guys. Alright guys, so this is going to do it for this episode. Make sure you guys stay tuned for part 3, where we will continue to fly the three uh, White Hawks here, and we will take them all to um, the White House. So make sure you guys come back and watch that video for the final part of this series. If you did enjoy this series, make sure you guys hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and uh, if you would like to see like a cool... If I put all three parts into one cool video with like cinematic shots like these and stuff like that, let me know. 
guys would like to see guys so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys come back for part three and watch part one if you did not either so thanks for watching see you guys in part three